Welcome back to GQ Radio and Less Sex House with Kelsey Lynn hey. and a, your favorite side piece, hey. the mashed potatoes and gravy hey. with the mac and cheese, Daddy Julio. I can't do those sound effects. Uh. Yeah, that one. I need like to get some saliva. Because right you're now. not the weasel. <laughs> the weasel. Oh my the god. Weasel. I love it. I love it. Good evening, everybody. So you heard it. You are here tuned in to GQ Radio. We are uh, Less X House. Good evening, Julio. Good evening, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, ooh. How are you? I'm fabulous. Yeah. It's 2020. We're getting shit popping. Yeah. It's been, what, we're almost, I'm we're a whole week through 2020. <sighs> shit. It's been very productive. <laughs> I can't say it's been very productive, but I feel like it's just slow coming back from like that whole break. It's like recalculating a a schedule and shit, you know, Um, all the kids back in school. If you have kids, hallelujah, they're back in school. Uh, We're home free. (laughs) Now we can spend time together. (laughs) Now, (laughs) you know, now I can, I can do what I want, basically. Yeah. From... Seven in the morning to three o'clock. Right, in the afternoon. exactly, exactly. <laughs> like seven to four, I'm scot free. So happy New Year's, and I'm um, happy to be back. 2020, 2020, 2020 vision. Let's get it. We're on on a new year. Uh, new bitches, new dudes. Uh, not not <laughs> repeat, not not repeating our. Our, our same past transgressions anymore. We're, we're new people, right? New year. We're like born again. That's yeah. what I say. All of my so sins, sleep with different people now. All of my sins have been, have been cleaned off from 2019 and I'm ready to make new mistakes. Yeah. All right, Julio. So full disclosure. Dum, dum, dum. Yes. Um, well, so right now I'm a bartender, server. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm working on some music, you know, doing the whole thing, kind of just, uh, you know, getting it. But lately I've been thinking about trying to dance. Ooh. Yes. Like break dance or hop on that pole and slide yeah. down slow. Yes. yes. So Ooh. like the pole dancing. Um, I've really been thinking about it because, you know, um, what we've chosen to be passionate about is, uh, you know, art and music and um, radio and whatever else. Um, it's not a, a broke bitch's sport. Mm-mm. I'll tell you something. Um, so I've really been thinking about, like, getting into a club and kind of just having, like, a late night um job and something extra to to stack with so i need your help what do you think so like let's come up with some stage names for you Ooh, stage names oh, oh my god okay um, what it, something something i want it to be something easy mm-hmm. but something cute what do you think i'm like mm. so like snow bunny would be like oh my god out of it's, the question it's a little bit it's a oh. little bit out of the question uh, overused it's a, it's a, overplayed yeah it's a little overplayed um, maybe we can call you K Stallion. Oh, K the oh, Stallion. K the Stallion. Okay. I mean, I am five nine. I got, um, I got the stallion in me. She got the thickens too on the, on the right pickens. <laughs> hey, I'm trying. I saw it jiggle the other day. I was like, oh, I'm trying guys. Oh, I'm putting in that work. See, but see, uh, Hey, he, he said, that's good. That's like. Stripper material, right? If y'all could see my eyebrows going up and down right er, now, I'd be er, like, er. hell <laughs> yeah, shake that ass. He's going to come Make through. your money. He's hell gonna yeah. I'm going to throw all sure. the change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it hell. Because like I said, we're starving artists here. Yeah. <laughs> got nothing but pennies for you, girl. <laughs> no, but I'm thinking about it. And you know, the whole thing, like I love, I do, I have always had like kind of a obsession and um, fascination with stripper culture and and the whole thing. And I think I, I really embody that already in a lot of ways. She wears a lot of camo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with strippers? I don't know. I feel like strippers wear like nothing but jumpsuits and camo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like track suits yeah. and shit. Uh, Gucci slides. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking a do-rag on straight hair. Hey, you know, you know, it, it is a culture. That's for sure. But I mean... 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like I got it. You feel like you're ready? I also feel like it's good practice for the stage in general and just being like comfortable and yeah. um kind of like letting, knowing your routine yeah, and stuff like, like letting your route. that stage fright go and just being getting used to like eyes on you all the time. You Trust know? me, I I know when I used to go on stages, I'd be like uh that oh, like yeah. f- that moment of like freeze frame where you're yes. just like uh yes. Oh yeah, like even like most of the runway shows and everything I've done, there's like a um like I like semi black out because there's just so much, but you still get it done. Like yeah. you rock it, but like you're halfway blacked out because there's just so much um, energy and focus goes into it. All the so, eyes are on you. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I feel like, hey, you know, give me a little a cute little outfit, some fucking shoes, and I f- I feel like you already have majority of those outfits in your uh, exactly linen. See exactly that's what I'm saying. I've been with the culture. I've been on this shit. So she's got this one like what is what do they call them? Where they like buckle right in the crotch? Little like <laughs> onesies. The onesies. Oh, she has this one onesie picture. I'm just like what Damn. onesie? <laughs> it's back when you had green hair. Oh, I love my green hair, guys. Yeah. Okay. I'd pull it up and show you, but I'm pretty sure you know which one I'm talking about. No, I really You're in like don't. that white alley wearing that black one suit piece. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Her butt oh cheeks God. are hanging out real nice. Cute fucking onesie too. It's like sheer and it's got a chain on the top that like holds it. Yeah, it's fire. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stripper vibes, y'all. I'm like, I'm with it. I'm with it. And there's a dope little spot right next to my house um, where I know like all the white girls are at. So I'd, I'd fit in. Put you, you know? in the gentleman's club too. Probably. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I mean, I've been doing the waitress thing forever. So it's like, it's the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. You, just, you know, you have more clothes on as a waitress. Exactly. All right. Well, maybe we can practice after this. <laughs> what y'all think? Uh, Kelsey as a stripper, I'm kind of feeling it. It'd be, it'd, it'd be on the, it'd be on the low for the beginning of it until, until I got her so Instagram like, follow, followers up I and everything. I feel like I'm real popping, then I'm be like, surprise! You pick up that like alternate personality. I gotta get the stripper clout, bro. Yeah, it's all about the clout. Just take classes first. Yeah, I could do. I could do classes. Yeah. I've been a dancer though. I've been doing ballet and jazz and hip hop and all that my whole life. So. so that just means you can bend real easily. Right. Exactly. Like in a pretzel formation. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't nothing oh but. A, it ain't God. nothing but a thing. <laughs> Break that pretzel. I might need to start working on my uh, stretches a little. Bit. Yeah, get them kegels going in too. Kegels. Oh yes. So how do you? Well, how do you feel about strippers, like in general? I get this question a lot. Okay. And I'll tell you right now, guys, I really don't give a fuck about servers. I really don't. I'm not going to go there to throw yeah. money at you or try to get laid by you by like throwing you an extra amount of money. Like, right. no, right. like you ain't that thirsty. I'm not thirsty like that. Like if I want to go get laid, I'll go to a bar and I'll spit game like, you know, and use my money for me. I feel that. <laughs> like my drinks and food. I feel that. My shots. I feel that. Maybe my Uber. So, do you think? No, I'm not saying that I don't. I don't support the whole stripper movement. For sure, I'm all about it. Boo boo, get your money. Like you ain't. You're not judging. No, is I guess more of the Every, question. It's a hustle. Like, right. It's a hustle. You're using your body and your looks and your God given features or maybe enhanced features to, uh, you know, get some yeah, bring get, in that get some bread. Yeah. Hell yeah! Ain't nothing wrong with that. Use use what God gave you, exactly. baby. Care. Make so. So why do you why do you think that most or not most but majority of men go to strip clubs? Your personal opinion. Um my personal opinion just out of like my group of people that I'm around, um friends, other artists, etc., I feel like it's more of like a um status thing and definitely more like for fun to like ball out a little bit and definitely for status i would yeah. say yeah what about those creepers that go in there 
or the ones that are like probably like just in there having an affair because they got tired of that same sure. same woman they've been with for the last years. She's been nagging at him for fucking years to you know maybe change the light bulbs out or hasn't, hadn't, fucking hasn't touched him, cut and- the grass or some <laughs> shit like that, or maybe fold his own laundry for once. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's some sick motherfuckers out there, but they're you know then there there's like it's just a, such a large spectrum. I feel like because there's one end. Of the people like me who I'm talking about, like status and I'm just go um, to have a good just, time. Just go to have a good time. Literally, like look at pretty girls and just um, socialize. And then, of course, there's like the dudes who I guess have to go there mm-hmm. to get anything, or like that's their their ticket to any pussy at all. I guess so. Um, that little escape from reality. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, you know, it is a sex worker business. Mm-hmm. Um, because I mean, let, let's say, like, let's be real. Who knows how many of those strippers are probably escorts or for hookers sure. on the yeah. side or sure. sl- slanging some dope or some shit. Yeah, and I'm willing to say probably a good ninety five percent, a good chunk of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I only go to the strip clubs for the buffet guys. For the, the buffet shit. The one, the one few times that I've been there, and when I say one few times, I've only been to a strip club probably like three times in my life. <gasps> Not like I said, I'm not a big strip club guy. But if I find out they got a buffet, you best believe I'm paying that twelve dollar door cover just to eat unlimited amounts of bacon, yeah. waffles, chicken, <laughs> fucking if they got some pizza or some pizza rolls, yes. I don't care. I I'm know. in there for the food. The Houston Gentlemen's Club too. They've got some truffle fries. That's the one I'm talking there. about. <laughs> Fuck it up. My homegirl was a bartender there, and she told me to come through. She gave us, like, you know, the free ticket passes yeah, yeah. to get, like, like dances and shit. Like, I was like, bitch, where's the food? I was like, <laughs> I don't, don't want need no, no fucking dance. I was like, I don't want no dance, but I'll take a dance. I came for the chicken. I got a dance by this one fine-ass Asian chick, and she had, like, these, like, eyes right where her, like, tramp stamp would be. So she was, like, shaking it on me. Like, I couldn't keep my eyes off of her eyes. Like, I was just like, whoa. I think he just winked at me. See, and I, I like the strip club when I'm with, like, a group of people. I love it. Or um, I have one friend we were going over here to. Uh, it's called Las Chicas Locas. Ooh, right over here I've in Bel Air, Bel Air, Texas. They got and all the fresh Cubans off the boat. Yes. Okay. So, yes, I love that spot. And me and my friend were going there. Um, we would have, like, a afternoon drink over there, some smoke a blunt in the back or whatever and um yep. i but i love it just because i i like women for sure and then i always like end up picking my like one there's always one that just like sticks out to me and i like watch the whole night it's probably why i'll never have a chance with you <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the, why the women <laughs> they always beat us no they always beat them I don't know. It's all cool. It, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's, it's whatever. Fine. I'll be he's, waiting. He's all, all salty. <laughs> he's like these bitches. Fucking cunts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, this one time, this other one time that I went to the surf club, my home, like we, we were doing some bad things, and you know, my homeboy ended up giving me a, a stack of cash, and I walked into the surf club, and I looked That's around, nice. and I was just like. Okay, where's the snack machine? Because I don't see any food. So <laughs> I walked over to the snack machine. And I probably spent about twenty bucks on whatever items I got, and let's let's just say that a pack of cigarettes was eleven dollars. Yeah. So <laughs> the rest of it was on snacks and a water or, or a drink yeah. or a drink. And after that, I, I pocketed the rest of the money, and I just stood up, like stood around, and hung out, and watched my friends like waste all that stack. And I was yeah. like, bitch, I'm going home with some bread in my pocket, yeah. some food in my belly. And a pack of cigarettes. It's probably the most expensive pack I've ever bought besides the ones in New York. Right. Well, see, yeah. Every time I go, I'm usually with some guys who want me to do the money throwing, obviously, because it's, it's funner to watch a girl go up there and like oh, yeah. have fun with the it's money. It's a but, lot more entertaining. Yeah. Plus, the strippers always dance on you a little more provocative. A little more. Yeah. yeah. They, they always, they just love the women that come up. They always. actually let you like, touch they're them. Like little eyes just light up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yes, mommy. Let me see that twinkle in your eyes. Mm. Turn around. Mm. <laughs> Walk away from me. <laughs> right. Slowly on your knees. Yes. Um, I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. I'm just scared. I have a little stage fright. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like it's going to get me over that 
Huh. I bet you will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't know about other places, like locations, cities, whatever, but I know that the we have very specific, when we're talking about Caucasian women, strippers in Houston. Um, snow bunnies. Yes, yeah, snow bunnies. We have a very, like, specific, I don't want to say stereotype, but there's a genre of... Uh, they all look like Barbies. They all look like Literally Barbies. like like Malibu style Barbies. They totally do, huh? Long blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like super, super skinny. Flat, except no. for their ass somehow. Like no body except for a fat ass. Fake ass titties. Which is nothing wrong with that. But let's be real, there's not much of that au natural anymore. No, and I feel like they either have fake titties or really small titties. With a fat natural ass. What seems to be natural, yeah. Which blows my mind. I'm like, where are you white girls getting this ass? Let me know. You want the secret? Yeah, I want the. I want all the secrets for that. Cornbread. You, ladies, hit me up. It's if, cornbread. If it's the cornbread, fucking but, slide, slide in my DM and let but me know. But you have to do the water-based cornbread. Water-based cornbread. Yeah. Okay, you, so how do we do that? So you just buy the... the, the Instead of like a milk or yeah, something Yeah, it's like just that. like the instant quick make, oh. but you just add water. And then there you go. Boom. Look who's giving me the the tricks. Girl. See, this is what you I didn't need. ask. This is what I, I needed know to know. Things. He knows I know everything. <laughs> He's like, I have all the answers for you. I baby. do. Especially in this kind of line of work. Right? Shit. Okay, so I need water based cornbread. One, best believe I'm going to HEB on my way home. <laughs> Okay, what else? What else? What else I need? What's like the the Houston stripper? It's kind of your diet too. Kit. You gotta you gotta you gotta do like. No, I I know it's it's like a fruits, it's vegetables, like clean eating, turkey, but protein and like weightlifting. I feel like lots of squats. Yeah, lots of squats. You gotta get your hamstring hamstrings yeah. in, in shape. Honestly, your quads. My body transforms really quick, so I feel like some squats and cornbread. I'm good to fucking go. Get a get a two mile running in every yeah. other night. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go for a run oh, tonight. Oh, easy fucking peasy. Yeah. Okay, my first run is tomorrow. Bet it's a motherfucking bet, Julio. All right, I want to see the the photo of your uh, running outfit. All right, today I'm gonna no tomorrow I'm gonna take picture one. We're gonna have a before, and then I'm gonna look into this job, y'all, in maybe two weeks or so. We'll have a little after photo. I want to see some sweat. Oh, you want to see some sweat? Some sweat. No, I'm going to be dripping sweat. Oh, for sure. Stop. For sure. Get me excited over here. <laughs> just thinking about you dripping sweat. Sweat. sweat, sweat oh, girl. Sweat. Look at that sweat just trickle down your face. Drip, drip, splash. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to be a stripper. I really, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. It'll be on the low, low. But that doesn't, that doesn't, uh, I won't show up because I'm not trying to like be that kind of supportive, but I'll be like that. I got you from over here support. I know you doing your thing over there because I don't, I don't honestly just, I don't want it to ruin my perception. Like, you know, like I'd rather, he wants to keep me wholesome and clean. Oh, I'm going to keep you wholesome. Not clean. He thinks I'm wholesome. (laughs) There's a whole lot of something that I want from there. (laughs) I told you. Uh-huh. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a shot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm trying real hard over here. Please. I support you. I love all right, you. guys. This is all I want to know. If if I can get enough people behind me for the stripper movement, like maybe I can make something happen. And then maybe I'll tell y'all where I'm at and you can come shame me. Ooh, wouldn't that be a treat? A treat. No, you said trick. I said a trick. You see a trick. <laughs> Ho ass trick. Damn, what's going on? Uh, I think you're thinking about it too much and you're getting a little excited. Oop. She's like, oop. I'm going to trick this guy to give me all his money. Oop. I'm not talking about me, though. Trick daddy. She's going to get a Stan or something like that. Or a Steve. It's definitely going to be a Stan. A Stan. Or a Greg. Bill. I, uh, I feel like Bills are Bill. always at the strip club. Bill's a good one. Bill's a good one. Tom. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sit and ponder on it. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out, you guys. I'm really a jack of all trades. So I feel like this is like the one that I'm missing on. So jack like, of all trades, so master you, of you're none. You're just trying to put all the tools in your belt? 
Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I mean, I want to I want to do it all, see it all, know about it all. And what rapper bitch ain't been a stripper anyways? Uh, all of them start that way. Exactly. You got you to build so your fan like, base. I'm missing something here. You got to get all the dirty dance. I'm missing a step. I got to. Oh, you're missing the dirty dance. <laughs> the dirty dance. Okay, that's not really the step I would like to label it as, but I feel that. It's I all feel- clout. It's all clout. I really feel it, it. Everything we're in 2020, and I feel like everything really is for the clout now. I mean, yeah, everyone posts something for the clout. Period. Like it all yeah. just sums yes. up to the same shit. Like yes, the only reason people post designer shit, mm-hmm. or traveling or whatever else, is all for the clout. That is the age we live in. Is um, technology and balling, and you know. It's just what it is. So, clout god, okay? Mm. We'll come back to that. Okay. We'll come back to the clout. Yeah, we'll come I back to that. the clout. Okay. It's a whole okay. another show. <laughs> it's a whole That's a whole another show we have to talk about. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about the clout. Other than that, what should we tell the people? Man. <sighs> what can I tell you people? Stay classy. Stay classy. Be smart. Be smart. Save your money. Definitely save your money, man. Especially if you're going to go to the strip club this weekend. Man, save your money. Put it away. Mm. Um, fuck. That's like probably. And if you go to the strip club, just fish. And if you don't know what that is, you walk up to the little money machine, you get a $100 bill out, and then you go back, and then you get another $100 bill out, but then you break the first $100 bill. Okay. And you just kind of like you making them look like you're you're getting money out, but mm-hmm. really you ain't. You just you taunting them to make them think that you got that bread, and that's oh, listen to and this. that's how you do it. That's how you get them. There's some fucking tomfoolery going on. Yeah, it's called fishing. No, I feel that though. That, that's some clout ass shit again. I right? mean, strippers do it. Why can't the men that go to see the strippers that's do it? That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, I feel that. Pete don't game. don't come to my strip club, but yes. <laughs> And don't tell people I told you this. No, I feel I will not. No, I'm telling the viewers, not you. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. You can tell people. <laughs> I won't tell either. My okay. my lips are sealed at the moment. <laughs> well, Leo. Well, Kelsey, it was nice. I mean, I'm glad you support my stripper dreams. I just support you in general. <laughs> he's so he's so good to me, guys. Mm, it's only she knew. Well. <laughs> That being said, I guess it's a wrap. Is that it, y'all? Let's just make this pita roll out. Hey, that's a wrap. Uh, tuck that blunt and just spark that hoe. And roll it up, lick it down, light it up. Be the highest in the room. That's that. Adios. Love you. Bye.